Last night, on Thursday, President-elect Joe Biden unveiled the details of a $1.9 trillion COVID rescue and stimulus package designed to support households and small businesses throughout this pandemic. The proposal, called the American Rescue Plan, includes several familiar stimulus measures hoping that the additional funds will support and sustain U.S. families and firms until COVID-19 vaccine is widely available. Also, additional information on the $10,000 IDLE grant. All this and more in today's video. Hello and welcome to the Stephen Carlson Show. I'm Stephen Carlson. I'm a tech entrepreneur, real estate investor, author, YouTuber, volunteer paramedic, and once again, Clyde is down here and Bonnie is here as well. I really need your help, everyone. Please make sure you comment down below with the hashtag Team Idol. That is one word, T-E-A-M-E-I-D-L. Share this video with your friends. Let's get the word out that all small businesses need their $10,000 Idol grants. And before I go any further, a quick reminder. As my regular viewers will know, I have a team of outstanding lawyers that I keep chained up in the basement, and Clyde keeps them from escaping. However, these lawyers do get a little bit rowdy whenever I make a video, and the only way to calm these lawyers down is to give this little quick disclaimer. The opinions in this video are exactly that. They are opinions. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a lawyer. This is not financial tax or legal advice. Blah, 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 blah. You get the point. Also, while I have you here, don't forget to check out Weeble and get your two free stocks when you deposit $100 on the Weeble trading platform. About a week ago, one of my viewers received a free Apple stock from Weeble. Or if you're not exactly into doing stock trading, that's no big deal. Check out my other video pinned down below where you can see how you can get the equivalent of 40 free lottery tickets every single week. All right, all that out of the way. Let's get to today's news. First, on to the $10,000 IDLE grant. We're still expecting the SBA to begin sending their emails out later today throughout the weekend and into next week. This email will contain information specific to your eligibility for receiving the remainder of your $10,000 grant. Here's a quick summary. We expect every eligible business that applied under CARES Act to receive their grant money. If you received part of your $10,000 grant already, you will receive the difference, bringing you up to a total of $10,000. If you received none of the grant for whatever reason, you should be able to get the full $10,000. Whatever your situation is, you will receive only $10,000, not anymore. You do not get a second allocation of $10,000. As of right now, the SBA is recommending that you do not submit another application if you have already applied in the past. Even if you were denied, it does not matter, at least at the moment, because if they have multiple applications for your business, it's only going to delay the process. If any of your banking or contact information has changed since when you first applied, you should call the SBA and provide them with this new information. I have a video showing what a complete joy it is to speak with the SBA. The link is down below. Now let's switch over to the upcoming stimulus package. We have been hearing rumors for a couple weeks that the Biden administration is going to be pushing for multiple stimulus packages over the next few months. Now I'm going to try my best to not be political here and not take any sides. Especially when both sides, the Democrats and the Republicans in Congress, could have settled most of our stimulus needs eight months ago. Instead, both parties decide to play party politics, and in the process, they screwed over the American people. The sad truth is, neither party, as a whole, really cares about us, the American people. Now, here is what Biden is calling for in his first stimulus package. Direct payments of $1,400 to most Americans. This will bring the recent one up to $2,000 by adding December's $600 payment. Increase the federal per week unemployment benefit to $400 and extend that through the end of September. Raise the federal minimum wage to $15 per hour. Allocate $15 billion to create a new grant program for small businesses. This is not idle, this is not PPP, and there's no other details available. So I really have no idea what this is going to be for. Extending the eviction and foreclosure moratoriums until the end of September. Allocating $350 billion in state and local government aid. $170 billion for K-12 schools and institutions of higher education. $50 billion towards COVID-19 testing. $20 billion towards the National Vaccine Program in partnership with states, localities, and tribes. 
It would also make the child tax credit fully refundable for the year and increase the credit for $3,000 per child or $3,600 for children under the age of six. According to senior Biden officials, this plan is just the first of two major spending initiatives Biden will seek in the first few months of his presidency. The second bill, which is expected in February, will tackle the president's long-term goals of creating jobs, reforming infrastructure, combating climate change, and advancing racial inequality. Senior Biden officials also been working on the stimulus plan for weeks have also confirmed that the president-elect still supports $10,000 in student debt forgiveness but that will most likely be in the second proposal or possibly a third. Sadly, it seems like in this current proposal, there's very little money for small businesses. The only mention I saw was a single $15 billion allocation. That equates to approximately $500 if you split that equally across all 30 plus million small businesses in the United States. On top of that, there will also be a requirement for $15 per hour which will place undue stress upon many small businesses. I know some of you will be getting mad that I'm complaining about $15 per hour. So let me be clear. I am not talking about the large multi-billion dollar corporations. Sure, they can handle the price increase. No, I'm talking about the 30 plus million small businesses here in the United States. The same small businesses that are struggling right now that are run by good, hard-working people like you. Maybe you have two or three employees, maybe a few more. They're possibly running the cash register at your family-run gas station or restaurant. Can you honestly afford to pay them $15 per hour? Or are you gonna have to end up terminating them, letting them go, or significantly reducing their hours? I'm not saying hard-working people do not deserve $15 an hour. What I am saying is the financial situation we find ourselves in today does not allow for this increased wages across every single business. Some businesses can handle it. In fact, my business, all of my employees have made more than that for a very long time. My business can afford it, but not all small businesses can. And by placing this rule across everybody nationwide, it's gonna cause a lot of small businesses to just plain go out of business. So unless there's some sort of financial support for these small, family-run businesses, placing more expenses on them right now is only going to force them to go out of business quicker. But of course, that's exactly what the large, multi-billion dollar corporations want. And that's the reason why they support the $15 minimum wage. Wake up, America. This does not help the little guy. It only helps the large corporations by forcing our small businesses to go out of business. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you click like and subscribe. Doing so really helps the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it, as do Bonnie and Clyde, and I'll see you on the next one.